Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is K Till and I am back with another video. If you are new here, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you could get a notification every time I post a new video. Okay? Okay. Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Today, as y'all can see, or if you haven't read by the title yet, I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. My skin has become so much better than before, like I don't know how to explain it. I'm going to insert some pictures of what my skin was looking like and some of my acne scars and the things that I was dealing with. And when it comes to my acne scars, my dry sensitive skin, under eye bags, all around it's just become so much better better than what it was looking like before one thing that I definitely have been doing a lot is wearing less makeup right now I do have on some makeup I don't wear as much makeup anymore like I learned that less is more but that being said stay tuned so that you can know what I use on my skin and what I've been using on my skin as I said before this is for dry sensitive skin so let's get into this video. okay so the first thing always first no it's not because there's nothing in here. <laughs> of course, first things first is you take off your makeup. I've always, and I have been using my Neutrogena, Neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towels. Fragrance free, of course. You don't wanna add anything extra that you don't need. I've been using these wipes for a little minute now. I don't know why, I mean, I guess they're the cheapest ones that I recommend. Very budget friendly, if that makes sense. So yeah, I just go in, wipe off all that makeup. And one thing, you wanna make sure that you take off your makeup at night. Stop falling asleep with makeup, you're not that lazy. Now my eyebrows about to disappear. And I do have my lash extensions right now, so I'm trying to be gentle around my eyes. So I'm gonna come closer so y'all can kinda see just some of the acne scars that I have and don't mind this you know when you it's that time of the month if y'all know you know okay so that's done if I don't have my makeup wipes I'm usually using my cleansing milk by Mario Badescu with carnation and rice oil this stuff works amazing okay when i tell you that this stuff is so good it's for skin types dry sensitive it looks and works as a lotion as well once we get to the end of the video i will show y'all exactly what i mean by that this stuff works as a lotion but i also use it to take off my makeup sometimes um you know how as if you would use coconut oil that's only if i don't have makeup removal wipes now I'm going to go in with my Mario Badescu Seaweed Cleansing. So this is a soap that I've been using for a while now. This one is specifically for all skin types. This is my daily face wash, okay? I use this to wash my face daily. So now I'm about to go in the shower, wash my face, and then when I get back, I'm gonna show y'all basically my moisturizer, my toner, moisturizer, my serums, and everything else I've been using on my skin. Alright y'all, we are back and I feel like my camera is a little steamy from my shower. Another highly recommended thing, you want to use paper towels to dry your face. So the reason you want to use paper towels to dry your face is because towels, wash rags, all of those, they all hold so much bacteria in them even after you wash it. Paper towels is probably your best bet. You don't want to put any more bacteria onto your face. That's the last thing you want to do. Highly recommended paper towels to dry your face. Always, no matter what. Next, I'm going to use either one of these toners. Um, sometimes I'll use this one. That is my Thayer's Facial Toner Witch Hazel Rose Petal Alcohol Free. This is what I use to tone. I usually just put it on a cotton ball 
and um, rub it all over my face. If I'm not using that one, I'm using one for extra exfoliation, which is my Thayer's Blemish Clearing Pads Witch Hazel um, Aloe Vera Formula, the lemon version. But this has 2% salicylic acid. Depending on how my skin feels, that determines which one I'm going to use. Today I'm going to use the Blemish Clearing Pads. You just want to make sure you're using a toner always. Thayer's Blemish Clearing Pads are formulated to speed relief of blemishes and treat them with homegrown healing power. These textured pads gently exfoliate the skin, buffing away impurities that lead to breakouts. This alcohol-free elixir is formulated with Thayer's property blend of soothing and cleansing witch hazel and hydrating and healing fillet of aloe vera along with skin renewing tea tree oil. Maximum strength 2% salicylic acid treats clogged pores from the inside out, banishing existing blemishes and helping to prevent new ones from forming. I don't really break out anywhere else besides on my cheeks. For some reason, I do break out on my cheeks a lot. Next, I'm going to go on my 2% hyaluronic acid plus B5. I'm going to take this and apply a couple of drops onto my skin. I put this on in the morning and in the night. Um, before any cream so I'm going to put this on after my toner and then I'm going to put on my lotions oils and everything else what I can say I absolutely love about this product is that it goes right into my skin like it literally melts right into my skin it's not sticky it doesn't feel too thick as I told y'all earlier I use this um, Mario Badescu cleansing milk as a lotion as well as a face cleanser and a makeup remover so this is my three-in-one product right here I do put this on as a lotion or a moisturizer it does say that you can leave this on your skin and you don't have to rinse it off so I just take a little drop of it a couple drops you know dry skin and then I just Rub it into my skin. So my 3-in-1 product, I do use that as my moisturizer. Most of the time, no, this is my always. I've been using this as a moisturizer for a long time, actually. Now we're going to go in with my oil. The oil I use is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Roast Hip Seed Oil. I use this also every day, morning and night. So you're supposed to put this on ideally at bedtime after application of water-based treatments. I did already use my toner and my cleansing milk or my 3-in-1 hydration lotion. So I just simply take a couple drops. I use my toner, my serum, my moisturizer, my oil, and now we're gonna go in with my under eye treatment. For under my eyes, I use the Ordinary 5% caffeine solution plus EGCG. It reduces the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and puffiness. And I just really apply one drop under my eye. And I use my ring fingers to rub it in. Okay, so we are done with my skincare routine. Before we end this video, I do want to go ahead and tell y'all the two other face washes that I do kind of use and the scrub that I use also from um, Mario Badescu. If I'm not using my 3-in-1 cleansing lotion, I'm using either my CB cleansing soap or my almond and honey face scrub, which is another very good product. I only use this about once to three times a week to exfoliate. I just started using this product, but overall I've been seeing amazing results. This is also for all skin types. If you don't have dry sensitive skin like me, you can use this. This is also for all skin types, so you can also use the seaweed cleansing soap I told you about earlier. Everything else is basically for all skin types. This is also for all skin types, my toners. The only thing I don't recommend, of course, is the oils. I don't recommend putting more oils on your face, especially if you're already oily. So, once again, if you like this video, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you can get a notification every time I post a new video. Comment down below any questions that you may have about dry or my sensitive skin. Follow me on social media, which will be popped up right here. 
All of the items that I use in this video will be linked in the description box down below. They were very budget friendly. Everything I mentioned in this video was under $20. If you do know the brand Ordinary, they are known for having very reasonable prices for very good product. And they tell you exactly what each product is on the label. I'm going to do another detailed video on The Ordinary and probably another detailed video on Thayer's and Mario Badescu because those are the three brands that I use daily. As you can see, most of the products that I use is within the same brand. I don't want to switch out too many like and switch out and try different brands as often because you know like if I like one thing from my, one brand I'm gonna go ahead and stick to that brand and see what else they can offer me and my skin thank you guys for watching my video until next time bye